In 2006, NASA sent a spacecraft called New Horizons to explore Pluto, which was considered the ninth planet at that time. After a journey of nine years, New Horizons reached Pluto and became the first spacecraft to visit this distant world. Today, the probe has traveled more than 50 astronomical units from Earth, which is over 7.5 billion kilometers. However, scientists are still analyzing the data gathered during the Pluto flyby. Recent studies suggest that Pluto is not as calm as it appears and may actually be alive. Astronomers made this conclusion based on strange things they observed in the pictures sent by New Horizons. The discovery raises an important question. Could there be life on Pluto? Pluto is an icy world with frozen nitrogen and carbon monoxide ices at its core. It was the first object discovered in the Kuiper Belt and remains the largest known body in that region. However, in the 1990s, the discovery of other objects in the Kuiper Belt led to debates about Pluto's status as a planet. Eventually, in 2006, the International Astronomical Union reclassified Pluto as a dwarf planet. Nevertheless, this reclassification did not diminish its value as a target for exploration. The images taken by New Horizons have revealed something truly astonishing and unique. Unlike any other planet in our solar system, Pluto's surface is covered in bumpy volcanoes of various heights. Surprisingly, there are no impact craters from asteroids or meteors nearby. Additionally, there is no evidence of plate tectonics, which play a significant role in mountain formation on Earth. These factors suggest that the surface of Pluto has undergone recent geological disturbances, potentially including volcanic eruptions that occurred within the last two billion years. Pluto's volcanic features include two peaks that have puzzled scientists for years. The first one is called Wright Mons, which is a mountainous structure about 150 kilometers wide. It bulges up to nearly 5 kilometers above the surface and has a central depression that spans almost 50 kilometers. The second feature, known as Picard Mons, rises to almost 7 kilometers with a width of around 225 kilometers. Surprisingly, Despite Pluto's smaller size compared to Earth, these volcanoes have a volume similar to Hawaii's Mauna Loa, one of the largest volcanoes on our planet. These remarkable surface features are located at the southwest edge of the Sputnik Planitia ice sheet, which is the lighter region on the left side of Pluto's famous heart shape. When the New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto in July 2015, it captured images of this sheet characterized by an ancient impact basin nearly 1,000 kilometers wide. The ice sheet is covered in folds and rises that resemble wrinkles on a smooth ice surface. The region also contains several volcanic domes, with many of them merging into larger domes. Based on the images captured by New Horizons, researchers believe that this unique terrain was formed by multiple eruption sites located near each other. The material ejected during these cryovolcanic eruptions coated the entire region with layers of ice. Further analysis indicates that the surface material in this area is primarily water ice, rather than nitrogen or methane ice commonly found in younger parts of planetary surfaces. These findings strongly suggest the possibility of cryovolcanic activity on Pluto. For volcanoes to be active, a constant heat source is required to drive the eruptions, on Earth, volcanic energy primarily comes from the radioactive decay occurring in the planet's interior. In other cases, gravitational interactions with massive neighboring objects can generate heat through tidal forces. However, neither of these possibilities aligns with Pluto's circumstances. Its neighbors are not strong enough to generate sufficient tidal and gravitational forces, nor does Pluto possess enough rocky material in its core to generate heat through radioactivity. Considering these factors, the most plausible scenario is that Pluto still retains leftover heat from its formation, possibly in a deep water ocean beneath its icy crust. Other icy bodies in the solar system, such as Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa, are known to contain such oceans. Enceladus has even shown evidence of regular cryovolcanism, spewing icy material into space and replenishing one of Saturn's rings. However, the presence of numerous icy volcanoes recycling an icy surface has only been observed on Pluto and nowhere else in the solar system. 
It's important to note that the New Horizons spacecraft only had a brief encounter with Pluto, observing the region for just one day. Therefore, it is still challenging to confirm whether cryovolcanism is still active on Pluto, or if these exotic ice volcanoes have become dormant. If cryovolcanism is indeed active, it would strengthen the possibility of finding a liquid ocean on Pluto, and who knows, perhaps even life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.